this basically is my personality in a nutshell. Sailor Moon meets the Golden Girls. If you're watching out there, let me know which Golden Girl you are. I'm pretty much Rose with a little bit of Dorothy and a little bit of Sophia. <laughs> Greetings Aqua fam, it is Ben Aqua, and in this video, we're gonna be comparing the speed between the 2019 iPad mini, which is the iPad mini fifth generation, versus the 10.5 inch iPad Pro from 2017. So first things first, I ran a Geekbench on both of these devices, and you can see the 10.5 inch iPad Pro 3751 single core, 9124 multi core. This is due to the Apple A10X Fusion chip versus the iPad mini, which has Apple's A12 Bionic chip. The 2019 iPad mini came in at 4771 for single core and 11,097 for multi core. So you can already tell that the A12 Bionic chip is going to be a little bit faster, maybe even oodles faster than the A10X Fusion chip on the 10.5 inch iPad Pro. The 10.5 five inch iPad Pro is an amazing device. I've been using it for a while now and it has just a really fast processor, opening apps, like everything feels pretty instant. Still in 2019, the 10.5 inch iPad Pro holds up super well. And the 2019 iPad mini, you know, it's, it's about a half the price of the 10.5 inch iPad Pro, but it has Apple's A12 Bionic chip in it. So it feels really zippy as well. When you're just kind of swiping through stuff, they look quite similar. Although the 10.5 inch iPad Pro, just the screen to me looks a little better overall. Like colors just look a little brighter and everything just looks a little sharper. But the iPad mini, the screen on this thing is really amazing as well. So I definitely don't want to knock that. So first things first, let's just close all of our apps here. Well, there's some weird iOS glitches happening right here. All right, so all of our apps are closed. Oh, New York Times, get rid of that. All right, so both iPads are powered down now. Let's go ahead and boot them up. Three, two, one. Looks like they both came on at about the same time-ish. iPad Pro actually looked like it came on just a tiny bit sooner. Going, 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 oh, iPad mini came on first. And here's the iPad Pro that came on second, about maybe two or three seconds after that. Let's check out the Touch ID speed here. Three, two, one. Both look pretty similar there. Let's try that again. Three, two, one. iPad mini was a little bit faster. Let's try that another time here. Three, two, one. iPad mini was a lot faster there, but not a deal breaker on the 10.5 inch iPad Pro. They're both super fast. It's hard to tell in this video, but when you're swiping around the 10.5 inch iPad Pro definitely seems a little bit faster to me, even though the processor is a little bit slower, it has ProMotion on it, which means the refresh rate is just a little bit faster. But overall, you know, they both look quite similar. All right, so let's start out with the calendar. Three, two, one. iPad mini one, Definitely saw that faster there. All right, close that out, let's try that again. Calendar, three, two, one. All right, iPad mini opened pretty much instantly where there's maybe a tiny, you know, a few milliseconds of a delay on the iPad Pro with calendar, but both of them were super fast. All right, let's go to reminders. Three, two, one iPad mini opened up maybe a second faster or a millisecond faster. That was really close, but the iPad Pro was not super far behind. Let's close these two out. Let's try reminders one more time. Three, two, one. iPad mini opened a little bit faster. I do appreciate the bigger screen on the iPad Pro, but the iPad mini is so cute. You know, the size of it just feels like something I can actually carry around more. The iPad Pro feels bigger. You know, the screen is a little bit nicer quality. I have the brightness turned up at 100% here, and I have True Tone turned on for both devices. And just looking at the two of them, the iPad Pro, looks like a brighter screen. And True Tone is looking really good on both of these. The iPad mini looks a little red to me, like a tiny bit more red and orangey, where the iPad Pro definitely looks more balanced and it just looks more natural with the white areas using True Tone. Let's close out of reminders. Let's go into notes. Three, two, one. iPad mini wins again, of course. 
and the iPad Pro maybe came on a second before that, but they're both super fast. You know, just scrolling around the iPad Pro with the ProMotion seems a little bit, you know, a, a tiny bit more buttery smooth, but the iPad Mini, I can't really say that, you know, there's a really huge difference there when it comes to scrolling around. The iPad Mini is definitely smooth enough, and I don't think a lot of people are even gonna notice the difference. All right, let's go over to photos. Three, two, one. iPad mini was basically instant. Three, two, one. You know, they're, they're both basically instant, except the iPad mini seems definitely a little bit faster. All right, let's open Lightroom. Three, two, one. This is a very graphics heavy app. So it looks like iPad mini barely was faster than the iPad Pro. Let's try that one more time. Three, two, one. All right, iPad mini looks like it's up. Oh, iPad mini's already up. And iPad Pro was maybe a second or two behind, but not by a lot here. When it comes to screen size, I definitely prefer the iPad Pro most of the time because, you know, I'm doing a lot of photo editing on both of these screens and just having that extra real estate on the iPad Pro makes a huge difference when it comes to editing photos. The colors and the sharpness on the iPad Pro screen are just super vivid and I really appreciate the attention to detail with that. But the iPad mini is not super far behind when it comes to the display quality. Colors look vibrant on both. The viewing angles are maybe a little bit better on the iPad Pro, but in general, they both look pretty damn good. Scrolling seems nice and smooth, a little bit smoother on the iPad Pro. All right, so let's close out Lightroom and let's open up Twitter. Three, two, one. Going, going, both basically identical. iPad mini maybe was a tiny bit faster. Let's try that one more time here. Three, two, one. Basically identical. I don't really see a huge difference for Twitter. All right, Procreate. This is one of my favorite apps. Three, two, one. Looks like they opened at about the same exact rate here. Let's close them out. Let's try that one more time. Three, two, one. Oh, iPad mini actually opened up instantly in that one. Procreate was a little bit slower on the iPad Pro by about maybe a second or two. I will say this though, when it comes to actually drawing on the two screens using Procreate, this is where I probably noticed the biggest speed speed difference between the two devices. So when I'm using the Apple Pencil on both of these devices, it seems like there's a little bit of lag on the iPad mini when I'm drawing. Even though the iPad mini has that A12 Bionic chip, for some reason, it just didn't seem as fluid as when I'm drawing on the iPad Pro using the Apple Pencil, where it just seems noticeably just faster. It seems almost instantaneous when it comes to drawing. I do love that the iPad mini does support the Apple Pencil first generation. Let's try some more apps here. Let's open up the New York Times. Three, two, one. All right, I iPad mini opened slightly faster there and maybe by about half a second. Let's try that one more time. New York Times, three, two, one iPad mini faster by about a second. So the scrolling seems very smooth on both devices. Again, a tiny bit smoother on the iPad Pro because of ProMotion. Let's open up news. Three, two, one. Seems like iPad mini is already loading some stuff over here. Oh, iPad Pro is actually a little bit faster. That was kind of surprising. Let's try that one more time for kicks. All right, news. Three, two, one. Yeah, iPad mini was almost instant. iPad Pro actually came in a little bit after the iPad mini, but not by a huge margin there. Scrolling seems pretty good on both. Let's open up the same article on both and see how they load. Three, two, one, open. iPad mini seems a little bit faster. Let's open up this one. Three, two, one. iPad mini was maybe a tiny bit faster, but they're both basically instant when it comes to opening articles. All right, more stock apps. Let's open clock. Three, two, one. Instant on the iPad mini, a little bit slower on the iPad Pro, but I do like that you can see more of what's going on in the app on the iPad Pro. Scrolling seems pretty good on both. Let's try home. Three, two, one. All right, so iPad mini opened first. Let's do the measure app. Three, two, one. 
open up a tiny bit faster on the iPad mini. The camera is one of the biggest differences between the iPad Pro and the iPad mini. I tried out the iPad mini, the camera on there, basically it gets the job done, but it basically sucks. It reminds me of maybe the iPhone 4, whereas the iPad Pro has a much better camera where the photos look basically really similar to maybe the 8 Plus or the iPhone 10, much better camera on the iPad Pro. So let's open up the camera now. Three, two, one. Basically instant on both. Let's try that again. Close everything out here. All right, swipe down, get the camera. Three, two, one. Basically instant on both of those. I did not see a difference on either one. TV, three, two, one iPad mini is definitely loading a little bit faster. Yeah, it's maybe two seconds faster than the iPad Pro. Scrolling looks good on both. Using the iPad mini for a little while, I do appreciate that the screen is a little bit better than the iPad mini 4, but I definitely miss the ProMotion a little bit on there. Like if you've used ProMotion for a while on iPad Pro 10.5 or the newer iPad Pros, you're a little spoiled on how smooth all the motion seems. All right, now let's try out Hulu. Three, two, one. Tiny bit faster on the iPad mini. Let's try that again. Three, two, one. about a second faster on the iPad mini. All right, podcast, three, two, one. A little bit faster on the iPad mini by a couple seconds or one or two seconds. Pretty fast on both of these though. You're kind of getting the picture. The iPad mini is faster overall than the iPad Pro, but the iPad Pro definitely holds up. It doesn't feel slow by any means. Like there's really not a whole lot of things that I can do on the iPad Pro that slow it down where I'm like, oh damn, I wish this was faster. It just handles everything super well and the screen still looks amazing. But the iPad mini is so cute, you know? It's the size of it is a lot more portable, obviously. I wouldn't say pocketable, but it feels like something that I'd want to carry around more than the iPad Pro, which feels a little brittle. Like, you know, it's just so huge. It's not really something that I would just throw in a bag without a case where the iPad mini feels robust. You know, it's, it's thinner, it's lighter, it's smaller. The screen is really nice on it. Not as good as the ProMotion on the iPad Pro, but I still appreciate the smaller size of the iPad mini and two-hand typing on there is actually really easy to do and feels really natural. Where two-hand typing on the iPad Pro, your fingers actually feel like they get hurt a little bit when you're typing because you're holding up the device that's a little heavier than the iPad mini and you're also typing and it just feels a little awkward after a little while. So that's a really not so scientific speed test between the iPad Pro 10.5 from 2017 and the iPad mini fifth generation. Let me know what you think in the comments. I was really impressed by both of these devices, but the iPad mini obviously wins when it comes to basic speed, except the iPad Pro is not super far behind. It's basically like a second or two behind the iPad mini when it comes to everything. But like I said, both of these devices are super fast. Neither one of them is really gonna cause a huge dilemma when it comes to speed alone. So the biggest difference is obviously the screen size on the iPad Pro, 10.5 inches, versus the smaller iPad mini, which is a lot more portable, a lot lighter, and a little bit faster than the iPad Pro. You're not gonna go wrong with either one of these devices, and let me know which iPad you're gonna go with. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments. I hope this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons. Hit me up on social media at B3NAQUA. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.